Thank you all for joining the show. Sorry about the misconfusion there. I'll go ahead and fix that. I'm sure you guys can hear me, right? Let me get a thumbs up. Let me get a thumbs up. Y'all can hear me? Am I good? Testies, testies, nuts, one, two, three. Can y'all hear me out there? I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. It's low again. How was it low again? Hold on. Let me see something. How the hell am I low again? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine, man. I hear myself, man. Am I that low? Can y'all say something? Marcus, America's comment. Y'all hear something? Can y'all hear me? Hello? Alright, let me see if I can go in and adjust this. It's crazy. Alright, hold on. Can y'all hear me? Am I good? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Alright, hold on. Let me let me see if I can. Alright. Am I good guys? Can you guys hear me? Some of y'all saying y'all can't hear me out there. Some of y'all saying y'all can I can hear myself. It's decent now. Man, come on, man. Should have been decent, man. Anyways, guys. What's going on, people? It's decent now. Some of y'all can hear me, some of y'all can't, man. What's going on here, man? I'm about to beat the shit out of this desktop, man. I'm about to give it a drop kick. Give it a fatality. Get rid of that shit, man. What's going on, family? How y'all doing, man? All three of y'all. We gotta get more people on here, man. Let's go ahead and pass that channel around. I know how to. I'm good, homie. All right, cool. See, see, you can hear me, man. Are you trolling my ass? I know you can hear me. But anyways, man. Thank you all for joining the show. Oh, I can't talk to you right now. See, everybody always wants to call me when I'm doing a live stream, man. Damn it. Hold on, guys. My, my fault. I apologize. All right, let me turn that off because I ain't got time for that. All right. Let me fix my chair, man. Everything's all fucked up right now. All right. My bad. I'm all over the place. I apologize, folks. I was having some problems with my computer, so I had to do some things. Got to twerk the settings here and there. People need to stop calling me whenever. I'm free the whole day. You notice that I'm always free the whole day. Nobody wants to call me until now. Now I'm doing a live stream. Everybody and their mama wants to call my goddamn phone, man. Hate this shit. Nobody call you. Have you noticed that? Have that ever happened to you guys? Like when nobody calls you all day, then all of a sudden, when you're busy, everybody wants to call you. But anyways, man, we got to talk about this, man. This, this is kind of. Uh, I don't know what to call this, man. This is it's some strange things in 2020, man. But uh, it's been going on for quite some time, man. Now, let, let me tell you something now. This is no disrespect to the LGBT community, okay? I make fun of a lot of shit that I think is hilariously funny. Uh, I talk about some real things, and you know, I also make my assumptions of what I think perceives to be really funny. Or if I want to get down serious, I can. But, uh... Hold on. <clears throat> All right. So let me try to bring up my screen here so I can see. Y'all say I'm good, right? Okay, cool. All right. So check this out, y'all. So we had a drag queen. Oh, it says drag queen celebs weigh in on Harry Styles. Vogue dress backlash men should be allowed to be feminine here styles made history this week as the first ever male to grace the cover of a vogue december issue and he did so in a pre-winkle floor length gown pre-linkle that shit sounds feminine as it is already like twinkle toes as pre-linkle what's the first thing that pops up in your mind when you pronounce the word pre winkle pre a prayer winkle you know i'm thinking about a fairy dusty ass nigga with some 
you know, a pink dress with a wand, you know, pre ass, floor-length ground, you know, like he was just tippy-toeing and shit. That's, that's the envision that I get when I read this word. While many celebrated the cover as a joyful expression of male femininity. Outspoken covers, cover, wait, 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 conservates, conservate, I'm sorry, wow, I'm reading this all wrong, I apologize, good God, my spelling's bad. Outspoken conservatives, such as Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro, tweeted their contempt for the magazine cover choices with Owens pleading, bring back Manly Man. Well, listen, we are talking about a Holly weird here, and we're going to hear from this drag queen and what she says about, oh my God, male need to embrace their femininity. Oh God. So Candace says, this is no society that can survive without strong men, which is true. The East knows this in the West. The steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism, 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 is that how you pronounce it? I think it is, is being taught to our children. It's not a coincidence. It is on right, an outright backlash, outright back. Wow, wow, oh, wow. I need to stop smoking. Outright attack to bring back manly men. Now, I get it. I understand, even though I read this so fucking dumb. Please forgive me all this bullshit right now. All right, but listen. God damn, who fucking wears this type of shit? Hold on, let me bubble this shit. Let me blow this up a little bit, man. Because y'all got to see this, man. This shit is crazy, boy. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. I'm going to try to blow it up so y'all can see this, man. All right, so check this out. Y'all can see exactly what, look at this man, Prince Charming. And these what dudes are going to be wearing in 2030? Look at this. Motherfucker look like he just, god damn. People actually, what? This is embracing feminine, femin, fe, uh, men's femininity? What type of shit is this? Get in touch with your feminine side, darling. Get in touch with you, Mr. BBC. Is he in the building? They crazy, yo. I'm with Mr. Mr. Candace and Mr. Owens. On oh, this one. Good God. And you motherfuckers want to vote Democrat. Man. Come on, man. They got y'all looking like this. Why you think I'm, I'm not a Democrat? Can't adapt to this lifestyle, man. Hollywood's hidden agenda. Hollywood anti man. The emasculating man is before your eyes. But a lot of y'all don't want to open up your eyes and see this, man. See, I should be getting about 15, 20, 30 people watching this shit, man. Y'all gotta learn something today, man. Masculinity is being destroyed. But speaking on her virtual Yahoo series, the change rate this week hosts an aqua hair drag queen personality, Monet Exchange. <laughs> Objected such as... <laughs> what the fuck? Is her name really Mo Moet Exchange, darling? Exchange, darling. Watch they get mad if I make this video. Good God. I just understand why they intimidate, jump to the feminization of men. Being negative thing, she said during one of se segments of the episodes, men being feminine is not a problem. Men should be allowed to be feminine since this guy says this. So let's see. Shout out to you for the donation, Mark. Marcus says 912 the 9912 good god I need to stop smoking that shit. Then they wonder where all the men have gone. I know where they've gone. They've gone to work. Yes, work it out. Tuck your thing, girl. It's up to you. I know I can't copyright so I got to make up my own shit. 
Turn to the left, working girl. Now turn to the right. Look at this. Oh, my g good God. So this is what they want men to be now. Let's get in touch with our feminine side, men. How many of y'all are going to wear some dresses today? Raise your hand. Come on. I want to know. Pr put that number one down if y'all are willing to change your perspective and get in tune with your feminine side. Or press two for no and press one for yes. Get them types up there, man. Y'all don't want to get in touch with your feminine side? There's so much joy just tasting the rainbows. Come on, come on, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. So this is this is what we got dudes doing today, man. So this 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 is what's going on. Look at this, man. Man, when I saw CeeLo with the dress on. Where's the last time I saw CeeLo? I saw CeeLo with the dress. Oh shit. Let me see if I can find CeeLo. Oh, let me see if I can find that, man. I can, I can show y'all this. CeeLo wearing wedding dress. All right. Let me see if I can find that. What? All right. Maybe I can't find it, man. I'm trying. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that. CeeLo. Is name is how you pronounce his name? CeeLo? Am I doing it right? CeeLo wearing wedding dress. I'm gonna show y'all something, man. Oh man. Why can I not find it, man? CeeLo wearing a wearing I, I, if I could find that dude. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Well, we got some rappers wearing dresses over here. Well, I can't find it, man. All right. Well, I'll just use a perfect example. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. You got rappers out here with guns wearing dresses now, man. Since when? Since when? Listen, man. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. That that whole trap music shit. But come on, man. The moment I start seeing a dude with a dress on, with an M16, man, I can't take y'all seriously. Look at this, man. Look, look, look at this, man. Look what the girl's doing, pointing the gun in this dude's mouth, man. Come on, man. This shit ain't right, man. Something ain't right with the atmosphere. But anyways, I can't find it. I can't find that CeeLo shit. I wish I could find it, but. But anyways, man. Let's play this video, man, because I want to know what this girl or what this thing or it has to say. I don't even know what to call it. America's comment Democrats hate black men having scary black cool guns. Libtards love black men being buck broken and defeated and also looking marvelously good. Just <laughs> they love them black men that look like this boy. <laughs> oh man look at this man all right so let's see what uh what celebrity drag queen was saying in this video work it sister this is what they want you to be you got to get in touch with your feminine side fellas remember that you ain't in touch with your feminine side something wrong with you on the cover of Vogue and adorned in this beautiful Gucci periwinkle dress gown and a very fierce Gucci tuxedo jacket and of course Candace Owens and uh, Ben Shapiro had a lot to say. Candace Owens, you ready for it? There is no society that can, that can survive without strong men. The steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. And Ben Shapiro said, anyone who pretends it's a... Alright, hold, hold on, on. Y'all.
Alright, y'all, sorry about that. I got some food being delivered over here. My fault. fault. Alright, All right, so, so let's, let's go, go ahead, ahead and continue, continue playing this, man, so y'all can hear it. Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. And Ben Shapiro said, anyone who pretends this is not a referendum on masculinity for men to don floofy dresses is treating you like a full-on idiot. I just don't understand why why um why they 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 immediately jump to the to the feminization of men being being a negative thing. If you if you ask me, men feeling that they need to be men and toxic masculinity is the problem in society. Men being feminine is not the problem. Men should be allowed to be feminine. I think that if men are allowed to feel and be more feminine, there will be way less uh people pressing buttons. What do y'all think? <laughs> Oh man. All right, hold on. This is crazy. So, um, let me get the graphs of this cuz I got to I got to rewind this whole shit back. And I apologize, guys, but uh I had to go get the door. People delivering shit. So, let me go ahead and rewind this so I can get more of the graphs of this shit. All right, hold on. Of Vogue, the first male to be on the cover of Vogue and adorned in this beautiful Gucci periwinkle dress gown and a very Fierce Gucci tuxedo jacket, and of course, Candace Owens and uh, Ben Shapiro had a lot to say. Candace Owens, you ready for it? There is no society that can that can survive without strong men. The steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. And Ben Shapiro said, anyone who pretends this is not a referendum on masculinity for men to don floofy dresses is treating you like a full-on idiot. I just don't understand why why um why they 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 immediately jump to the to the feminization of men being being a negative thing if you if you ask me men feel that, that it needs to be men and toxic masculinity is the problem in society all right so do you guys think that toxic masculinity is the problem in society i mean if men weren't so full with testosterone and just embrace their feminine side then you know the world would be at peace do you think that the world would be at peace if all men started getting in touch with their feminine side start wearing dresses and i don't think it's the problem i think toxic masculinity is the problem that's the problem toxic masculinity is the problem we need more of you body boys body boys out there pull up all them body boys them pull up me need all them body boys them pull up <laughs> Listen, man, I get it. Masculinity is the problem. That's the problem. If all you men just embrace your feminine side, then you could be just like this beautiful woman right here that you see in front of you. You know, then you could go ahead and wear yourself a dress. You know, get them nice little heels on, you know. Why don't you go ahead and get yourself a booty injunction, you know. Put yourself a half a pound of makeup on your face. You know, and say, yeah, I'm a star. Listen, man. In all honesty, man. I'm just going to break it down like this. Oh, man. When you break a part of you. When you break a part of you. Of genetically on what you're designed to be. Okay. Masculine energy, a provider, a protector. If you decide to destroy that with feminine energy, there will be no more masculinity. You will be having a generation of men who are overly sensitive, insecure, and emotional. Because this is what will happen if all men became feminine. Right before your eyes. Who would protect women? Who would protect women? If everything, including the president, was <laughs> showing his feminine side. You know, when Donald Trump says grab him by the pussy, you know, people get offended by that shit. But I don't. I don't. 
Because at one time in life, we were able to be men. We were able to watch sports without being interrupted by politics. Every time I watch a basketball or football game, I'm reminded of Black Lives Matter. Or I'm reminded of what police people do to black folks. Listen, it's a time and a place for everything. But I'm going to be completely honest. And some people may not like what I have to say, and that's fine. But I can only speak the honest truth. When I watch sports, I want to watch sports, not politics. If I want to watch politics, there's the news station. I don't need to be reminded of the news if I'm watching sports. I don't need to be reminded that men has to embrace their feminine side while they're out there playing football in a rugged, masculine man sport. I don't need to be reminded of a man who kissed another man outside of his team or, you know, playing for the same team and passing each other's balls around the place. I don't care about their personal lives. Because at the end of the day, I'm watching the goddamn football game or I'm watching the basketball game. So I don't care how much dick you suck. I don't care how much pussy you licked. That doesn't concern me at the end of the day. I'm here to watch a game. Am I wrong or am I right? And this is no disrespect. But I can only speak how I feel. just like you can but how I feel as a man because we're talking about masculine energy here being destroyed before your very eyes do you think I want to be a part of feminist or feminist agenda and trying to destroy men as a whole this is why people are standing up because we don't want to be feminized to those who want to be feminized Walk that path. If you're gay, be gay. If you're a lesbian, be a lesbian. But we don't like the agenda being forced and pushed upon us as straight men. When we watch basketball, when we watch football, or anything that's manly, hockey shit. I love hockey because I love the fights. I love the gore. Because it shows passion. It shows passion in sports, man. It shows passion in sports, man. And that's what makes you a man because you grow up off watching sports. You grow up of watching old time shows that are manly things. Men fighting in wars, you know. <laughs> men even fighting against bad men. Or shooting up. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go too much deep in that. Y'all get what I'm saying, man. Action packed movies, karate movies. All of that is displayed of masculine traits. Sometimes I wonder how comes there's no more karate films. Hmm. But I see women beating the shit out of men all the time. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Man, what do y'all think? Well, I completely agree. And you know what? I think is treating you like a full-on idiot i just don't understand why why um why they 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 immediately jump to the to the feminization of men being being a negative thing if you if you ask me men feeling that they need to be men and toxic masculinity is the problem in society men being feminine is not the problem men should be allowed to be feminine i think that if men are allowed to feel and be more feminine there will be way less uh people pressing buttons what do y'all think well, I completely agree. And you know what I, what always makes me laugh is conservative straight people. They don't know a goddamn thing about fashion. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute. Conservative straight people don't know nothing about fashion. Gay people know a lot about fashion. Well, let's just say gays run the industry. They're telling you right in front of your face. Homosexuals run the industry. We know that. We don't know anything about fashion, of course. You take control over everything. There's been gay people in the industry, in the fashion industry for years. Just like Johnny Versace, he was gay. We know that. Most gay people are in fashion. They do all types of fashion stuff. 
But that's not taking your credibility that the fact that you guys are gifted when it comes down to those type of attributes. But we're talking about the hidden agenda that's behind what you're doing. It's not what you're doing, it's what you're doing to try to change people's perspectives of their living. We are at a spiritual warfare, folks, and y'all not seeing it before your eyes, that what we were taught or what we were grew up to learn in life is starting to deteriorate before your eyes. I'm looking at how life is right now. Listen, I would be afraid to raise kids right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll be totally honest with you. I'll be terrified to raise kids right now because the school system got control of your kids. You know, they're going to teach your kids exactly what they want them to teach. OK, they go learn about they're going to be watching gay films, probably homosexual educational classes about men all the time. It's OK to embrace your feminine side. Now they got nine year old kids, right? Nine year old kids that can now legally choose and get surgery and the government is going to pay for it thanks to your democratic party are going to pay for nine-year-olds to make a conscious decision on whether they want to be a man or a woman or not so they can actually change or do the sex change at nine years old do you guys see something uh, a little bit crazy and wrong with that if they're doing that to nine-year-olds just think about it just think about it if nine-year-olds can have the decision to make a sex change. If they say, okay, dad, I want to be a woman, but you can't stop me from being a woman. And they're nine years old. Guess what? They can, within their rights, can do so if daddy refuses to. It's not like a nine-year-old, you know, has, you know, it's not like a nine-year-old can't, you know, consciously, you know, make decisions like a grown adult, right? That's where I'm trying to get. I guess they can now, you know, because, you know, the government is given rights now to do sex changes at nine years old. Hmm. What makes you think they're not going to legalize pedophilia? And a lot of y'all are so asleep right now and not seeing what's going on in front of y'all. You're seeing right now actors and shit messing around with little girls, messing around with little boys. It's sick. Now, I'm not blaming LGBT communities. I'm not pointing the fingers at them. I'm not even attacking them. I'm talking about the Hollywood perspective of things when it involves politics. Your way of life and your way of living is totally up to you. You're allowed to live the way you want to live under the constitutional rights. But guess what? As a conservative Christian, I don't have to believe in those values because I don't. But it's okay. I respect what you do. Do what you do. I'm not going to disrespect you. I don't disrespect people. I make fun of the shit you do. But I don't disrespect you in a way to where, you know, burning my English, grabbing by the pussy. You should collaborate with DJ Cuba. Cuda, Cuda, Cuda? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Shit, hold on. Let me check something here, man. Let me make sure my streaming is working right. Somebody's telling me. Somebody just texted me saying my my streaming ain't working right. Hold on. Let's see if I can fix this real quick. But listen, I'm all against the agenda. I've got nothing against the lifestyle of the way LGBT people live. I just have against the agenda of what they're trying to push out. So when Candace Owens makes those remarks and those comments, I agree. I have nothing against it. I mean, but hey, everybody's got their perspective. Everybody has their way of thinking of what they think is right or wrong. But and everybody has their religious beliefs. But I'm going to say it like this. I just don't think it's normal for a grown ass man to be walking around wearing a dress. Yes, that is signs of femininity. But at the same time, it's not femininity because femininity. When I think of femininity, I think of a woman and I don't think of drag queens. That's just my perspective of things. 
and this is no disrespect to the LGBT community, but I just don't see femininity in a man wearing a dress. I see femininity in a woman wearing a dress. There's nothing femininity about this. Ghetto Gagger Owens. Why? What you got against Ghetto Gagger Owens, man? She married a white man. That's all uh, you all. Oh, come on, man. You and your feelings because she married a white man. Listen, <laughs> Candace Owens, besides her personal life, I, I don't care. I'm not I'm not too crazy over her personal life like that. I'm just going by her policies and her views of life. And I respect it, you know. But as far as her dating life, I, I don't know anything about her. And neither do I give a shit. That's just being honest. But back to the subject of femininity and destroying men. This is what they're allowing to embrace your femininity. Because if you don't, there's going to be some problems. There might be some rules where men have to show their femininity. <laughs> you don't know nothing, darling. Period. Because you were like well versed in the world of fashion, you would know that it used to be masculine to dress in forms that we would now refer to as feminine. Like that was yeah. masculinity back in the day. So they don't have any concept. Notice, Notice how. how... Hold, Hold on, on, let, let me, me see, see if I can uh, 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 keep echoing and shit. Notice how she said, back in the days, men used to wear feminine clothes and used to embrace their femininity. You see that type of psychological uh, trick that she's trying to put on y'all? Ain't no men wearing no damn dress. You talking about Vikings and shit? You talking about Vikings and shit when they wore those little fur back in the days? How back in the days, bitch, are you talking about? How motherfucking back in the, bitch? Well, how back in the days you talking about? What, you talking about kilts? When them Irish men, Milani, used to go around with a shillelagh. Are you talking about kilts? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? I've never seen no men back in the days wearing no dresses. How back in the days have you been back, bitch? America's comic black women throw brother Kobe under the bus. Talked about him like a dog. This is crazy, man. How back in the days are we talking about? Since, I, I don't know. Have you guys known any men who wore dresses back? Yes, back in them days. Because I ain't know no men wearing dresses back then. But hey, I, I might be wrong. Somebody need to teach me something. Because I don't know if that's the case. But from what I know from history, I've never seen any men with dresses. You know? <laughs> at least from the history books and that's just something that I don't know about shit oh god mm -mm -mm. It's about how like gender expression has evolved throughout the generations throughout thousands of years to be in where we are now where men are confined to suits because that's what some asshole told us was right Wow. The flip side of making the kind of progress that we're making is that we have to listen to these idiots comment on it, but it's, right. you know. So, so I, I guess, guess men, men are, are assholes. assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get, get, oh my, my god, this is, this is fucking crazy. She said, men who invented suits for other men are assholes that told you guys that it's not okay it's not okay to embrace your feminine side so she's trying to say you men who wear your dresses are embracing your femininity and you will be accepted by society and you men who wear those suits were conditioned you were conditioned by those men yes oh yes you men you were very conditioned to wearing suits and ties Okay. To kind of remember is like they were they were always there. They weren't complaining about shit because shit wasn't happening, and now it's happening, and that's you know ultimately what's going to get us where we need to go. We as the queer community are allowed to feel both ways about it. You know, we're allowed to be happy that this is happening. You, you as, as the, the queer, queer community. community. You as the queer community. <laughs> 
<laughs> you as the queer community are allowed to feel happy about how the way you should feel about it. So you should be happy that you feel that both men straight or gay should be wearing dresses it's okay just everybody just be happy everybody just wear what you want to wear do what you want to do and be who you want to be i get it i get it i get it the whole world needs to be gay maybe the whole world needs to be gay so everybody could be happy and there'll be no wars <laughs> Nobody would be fighting. Everybody would be spraying fairy dust. Listen, man. I got nothing against it. But I hate the agenda that's being pushed. I'm not for it. And that someone of such prominence is doing this um, breaking down of gender boundaries and binaries in such a big way. And we're also allowed to feel disappointed that it's not a trans femme queer person of color on the cover of Vogue because trans femme queer people of color have been breaking down these boundaries and binaries for a lot longer than Harry Styles has. Yeah. But he looks hot and I would do it. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I mean, hey, listen. What are you gonna do? Let me go ahead and take uh some uh comments. I'll read some comments down here and see what you guys gotta say. Thank you all for joining the show. I'm not gonna stay on here too long. But I just wanna get people's perspective of things, you know. I'm gonna send I'm gonna end off the show by giving my absolute logic opinion or my logic statement. I should say I know early I was fucking up with everything I always fuck up with the show starting off uh, I'm just fucking around goofing around with my my voices all over the place things ain't really set up right listen I apologize man I'm only human okay shit happens that's facts let me see what we see what we got Candace Owens Candace Owens is bed winch man what is it what is up with you with Candace Owens man You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's, what's up with you and Candace Owens? Why you hate Candace Owens so much? <laughs> America, man. You like all over the place with your views, man. But you cool. I got you, brother. <laughs> you cool, man. All y'all cool. Everybody who watches my show is cool, man. I got love for all y'all, man. No homo. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? No homo. But I love every one of y'all. Not in that type of way. I can't even say the word. I can't even say that because, God damn it, even if I joke around and say that, people are so sensitive, man. People get mad. People get upset. You got to be very careful what you say on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not here to offend anybody. I just make jokes. I laugh about situations because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me, man. Feminizing the whole men. It's taking away masculinity. Let's just get rid of masculinity and use a fairy dust and have every man in pink dresses. Everybody's saving the princess. I guess women are going to be Mario's and men are going to be wearing pink dresses. Man, oh man. Black women threw brother Kobe underneath the bus. What's wrong with, with man? Black women did throw Kobe, did they? I thought black women love Kobe, man. Black women love Kobe? I thought black women love Kobe, oh. What the, what the fudge? Okay, my God. I thought black women love Kobe. Candace Owens, they op. Mm. How she op? She want men to be men. How she op, bro? I could read you what she said. Hold on, I'm going to go back. I'm going to show y'all. Let me show y'all some. Show you what Candace always said. Let me see if I can find it. So y'all can see her tweet. Alright, let's see here. Okay, we read that. Okay, so Candace always says, There is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this 
and the West. She's talking about the world, the East and the West. If y'all understand the li the dialogue, she's talking. See, a lot of y'all hate Candace Owens, right? But she don't hate black men. She actually loves black men, but she was put into a system to also hate black men. Okay? But she educated herself. Like everybody has. They open the doors, they open their eyes, and they see something different. Okay, she married a white man. That doesn't mean she's a sellout. I mean, hey, maybe there was something about him that is intriguing. I don't know. I, listen, I can't really talk on their relationship. So, hey, unless I find some crazy shit, then you know I'm going to talk about it. But I can't talk about Candace Owens unless she on some dumb shit. Then I'm going to put her in her place. But, you know, she's not doing nothing dumb. And she's just tight saying how it is. I got to give her credit for it. The steady feminization of our men at the same time is beginning to talk to our children. And it's not um, a coincidence. It is an outright attack. So I keep, why does keep on clicking and shit? So, I mean, listen, if you guys feel comfortable wearing a dress, then so be it. Nobody's going to stop you. I mean, nobody cares these days. I mean, like, listen, it, it is what it is. But I, you know, I don't I don't know how this is related to embracing your feminine side when you're jumping on a, a, a spring with some church shoes. What the hell is this? This looks like a, what? Let me find out. This is like Christian Dior Dior up in the stores. Let me find out. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> Let me find out this dude got a Christian Dior skirt on. And it comes with a jacket. I've got the butterfly in the middle tattoo. Man, oh man. Embracing your feminine side, boy. Look at these tattoos. Come on, man. Heart shape. This man got a heart shape. Oh, how feminine. Oh, he's embracing his, he's embracing his intellectual soft side. My God, man. Come on, man. We got to do better than this, man. Listen, I got nothing against it, bro. I really don't. I just hate the fact that the shit being pushed on straight, man, man. We don't need that shit. We shouldn't be embracing no feminine side if we straight. I mean, if you... Or by and you're a homo or whatever you call yourself, you know, that's when you should be embracing your feminine side if, if you fit that description. But I don't think men should embrace their feminine side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do y'all men have feminine sides? America is common. You have a feminine side. Andrew Simpin. Andrew, she don't love you, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit, Candace Cloud Owens. I think you mad because you ain't smashing, homie. Look at you getting your emotions over there. You mad that he she's taking that pig pipe, boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm fucking with you, man. See, I don't get my feelings over shit like this, bro. It's fucking bullshit ass politics, man. You can't get mad over stuff like this, man. Shit, it ain't even working. You tough, right? You be all right. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can fix this chat. All right. Shout out to the chat. Anybody got any any interesting else things to say? Because I don't really have much to really cover. Let me see if there's anything else on here. See what other people say. Hold on. Let's go back to that other screen. See if there's any other things that people were talking about. Uh, I don't know what the hell that says. Vogue. Oh, man. Playtime with Harry Styles. <laughs> that man got a heart tattoo right there on the arm. Good God, boy. They really pushing the agenda. Look at this. Really pushing that. Because they know everybody watches magazines and 
you know, I, I, well, not watch, but like reads magazines. I'm sorry, watches TV and all that other shit. That this 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 is what's happening, man. This is what's happened before our eyes. We got to embrace our feminine side. I bet you twenty thirty go they go they go have y'all in bras and panties. Hey, America, you go come out with your bra and panty. You gonna wear your bra and panty, cuz? And y'all go buy them new dresses. You know what I mean? Made you by Dior. <laughs> Burgundy ought to have them dresses for you niggas. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy, man. This this world is crazy, man. See what what type of look at this, man. What type of shit is this? Look, look man, you think so people are supposed to look like this very soon? Are <laughs> they trying to say we supposed we going to be looking poor but looking like this very soon? come that style now. I bet you that that whole jacket costs like twenty thousand dollars. Mm. Let me go ahead and go to the comments, man. Black women like Candace Weir, other women here, then get mad, then black men date other women. Man, you really hate Candace, man. Why you why you hate that woman so much, man? What she do to you? She she never said she hate black men. So when did Candace say she hate black men? I see her talking to a lot of young black men that was in a, uh, whatchamacallit, in schools and shit. She trying to push out that, you know, waking people up about the democratic slave plantation. A lot of y'all ain't waking up. This, this is what they represent. Democrats represent all of this. Rainbows, fairy dust. Fantasy world, I mean, hey, giving up your rights, take away your guns. Dave, what up, Andrew? What's going on, player? Andrew, the only nigga who want to top Candace is simps like you. I want to top Candace. No, I'm a simp now. But you awfully angry, bro. Why are you so angry? Why are you, why are you worried about what Candace is doing? Candace is fucking a white guy. Come on, man. Don't be like him. Come on, man. Come on, man. We don't need that type of energy, man. Come on, man. Look at that. I got my moderator over here in his feelings, man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody simping, man. I just love her ideas. Her political ideas. Candace always has some great political ideas. It's nothing to do with simping, brother. You just got to educate yourself. That's all. <laughs> but people don't take the time to want to do that. Nobody wants to take the time to do that. Everybody's all in their feelings. They get mad. Nobody wants to look and do research on political parties, what they mean, what they represent. But a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all go to be lost. A lot of y'all, when 2020, 2030 comes, I'm going to see a lot of y'all niggas in dresses. Because y'all going to be lost. Democrats going to start wearing dresses. You niggas going to be out there wearing dresses too. If they say jump, you say how high, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. They going to have y'all looking like this nigga right here, boy. Mm. Look at this. Red and blue. I guess, I guess <laughs> what represents the Republican Party? What represents the Democratic Party? They all gonna be the same. <laughs> oh shit, man! Everything I do is always related to politics, man. I swear, everything in life is about politics these days. I be eating sea fish. You're right. I love that sea fish. I love sea fish, and I also love potatoes, the French fries. Look at that. I got my own moderator in his feelings, man. Like, how how the hell I made you a moderator, but you trolling my ass? How the hell does that work? How the hell? Look at this shit. I got my own moderator trolling me, man. I got my own moderator trolling me. That is some funny ass shit. Hey, no nigga in this world that's on YouTube right now has a moderator that hate his ass. That I'm, I'm probably the first. <laughs> but see, 
I'll delete you, my nigga. I ain't gonna do that because you my homie. We may have some disagreements. Hell, I may hate the shit that you love. But it's okay, man. We fam and gang in this bitch. We could we could we could agree to disagree. Don't matter. Don't matter to me, homie. Sea fish. I cater too much to Candace. No, bro. It's not that I cater to her. I love her ideas. I love her policies, man. So, in other words, you want to give up your rights? You feel like giving your rights to Democrats? Let's be a slave. Let them tell us what to do. Tell us what we could wear. Let's go out there with our pink fairy dresses. Sprinkle some fairy dust. Let's do that. Be who you want to be. Anyways, guys, anybody got anything else to say? Like Kim say, tell it like it is. I don't know what Kim says. I'm not around Kim. I don't know nothing about Kim. I don't know nothing about the dude. I really don't besides just YouTube shit. But I don't know him personally and I don't give a shit about him personally. Because Kim doesn't stop me from making money either way. And neither does none of you bitches. Not me stop. But anyways, man. I guess that's about it, folks, man. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Get my black ass out of here. And uh, I'll get ready to play some video games, you know. Malcolm X would call y'all politician chumps. America, man, why are you all in your feelings, man? Come on, man. Want me to call Joe Biden and come over there and give you a big old demo crack hug courtesy from your political party? <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm just bullshit anyways, man. Thank you all for joining the show. Those of y'all who knew this show. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the link over there, or this way, on the bottom somewhere, some shit. Y'all see it. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, you know the rest. Thank you all. Before I do go, this is not a disrespect to the LGBT community. This is just me expressing myself <laughs> like the masculine man that I am. Just like you have a right to put on makeup and sprinkle fairy dust. And wear men could wear pink dresses in your world. That's fine. Because you can share it with ours. But guess what? I got my own world. My own world doesn't exist when it comes down to fairy dust. I'm just saying. And men don't wear dresses in my world. Not at all. Anyways, guys. I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out of here, guys. I'll be safe.